You're listening to Bible Truth Feed, a podcast by Christadelphianvideo.org for Christadelphians and all those seeking the truth about the Bible message. Join us now as we present our latest episode. Hi, these are the Christadelphian Daily Readings for the 9th of October, which are 1 Chronicles 26, Ezekiel 35, and Philippians 3 and 4. 1 Chronicles 26. Concerning the divisions of the porters, of the Korhites was Meshelamiah the son of Korah, of the sons of Asaph. And the sons of Meshelamiah were Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jathniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, Elioenai the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obed-Edom were Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehoshaphat the second, Joah the third, Sakar the fourth, and Nethaniel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Puelthai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born, that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valour. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, and Raphael, and Obed, Elzabad, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu and Semachiah, all these of the sons of Obed-Edom, them and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were threescore and two of Obed-Edom. And Meshelamiah had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen. Also Hosea, of the children of Merari had sons, Zimri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief, Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Hosea were thirteen. Among these were the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men, having wards one against another to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots as well the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers for every gate. And the lot fell eastward to Shelemiah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counsellor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward. To Obed-Edom southward, and to his sons the house of Asuppim. To Shuppim and Hosea the lot came forth westward, with the gate Shalecheth, by the causeway of the going up, ward against ward. Eastward were six Levites, northward four a day, southward four a day, and towards Asuppim two and two. At Parbar westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parbar. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Korah, and among the sons of Merari. And of the Levites, Ahijah was over the tre- treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things. As concerning the sons of Ladan, the sons of the Gershonite Ladan, chief fathers, even of Ladan the Gershonite, were Jehili, the sons of Jehili, Zetham, and Joel his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord, of the Amramites, and the Isharites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites, and Shebuel the son of Gershon, the son of Moses, who was ruler of the treasures, and his brethren by Eliezer, Rehabiah his son, and Jeshiah his son, and Joram his son, and Zikri his son, and Shelemith his son. Which Shelemith and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things, which David the king, and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the host had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battle did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord. And all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zeruiah had dedicated, 
And whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelemeth and of his brethren. Of the Ishaites, Kenaniah and his sons were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges. And of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brethren, men of valour, a thousand and seven hundred, were officers among them of Israel on this side Jordan westward, in all the bid business of the Lord and in the service of the king. Among the Hebronites was Jerijah the chief, even among the Hebronites, according to the generations of his fathers. In the fortieth year of the reign of David they were sought for, and there were found among the mighty men of valour at Jazer of Gilead. And his brethren, men of valour, were two thousand and seven hundred chief fathers, whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God and the affairs of the king. The Prophecy of Ezekiel, Chapter 35 Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, in the hills and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers, shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast said, These two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger, according to thine envy which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus saith the Lord God, When the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumea, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. The Letter to the Philippians, chapter 3 and 4. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you, to me indeed is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision. For we are the circumcision, which worship God in the spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh. If any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day, of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the ecclesia, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me? Those I counted lost for Christ. 
yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ, and, by, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, where, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an end sample. For many walk, of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to even to subdue all things unto himself. Therefore, my brethren dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech, beseech Euodius and beseech Syntyche, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, you true yoke fellow, help those women which laboured with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord alway, and again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men, the Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein you were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learnt in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Notwithstanding ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no ecclesia communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica ye sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Epap Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, an odour of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. 
The brethren which are with me greet you. All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at bt f at cdvideo.org If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen.